I want to show you some new functionality within CRM 2011. What you can do is you can export data to Excel, you can change it in Excel, and then move it back into CRM 2011 and update those records. It's a pretty nice tool. Let's take a look at it. I'm going to start with... So here's my account list. And what I want to do is I want to add a country name to all my account listings. So to do that, the first thing I want to do is create an advanced find that includes the country name in the list. So let's do that right now. I'm going to add the columns and add the country name in there. So let's select country. Hit OK. And then click on results and we'll get the results here. And you can see that I've got the column now. I'm going to export this to Excel. And when I do that, I'm going to specify that this data is going to be re-imported into the system. So I'll do that. And the reason I do that is so CRM will recognize that when it comes back in, when I do the import process, it will realize it's not a new record. It's updating existing records. So I'll save that. And let's take a look at it. So here's my field here. I'm going to add United States. And I'm going to copy and paste that down through the spreadsheet. And I want to save that. go back to my accounts now and import that back in. Import the data. Here's a spreadsheet with the changes. Hit next. So now it's been uploaded to CRM online and we can always go to the import area here and take a look at how that import is progressing. I can refresh it here. I've got total 50 records. And we can see that that imported properly. So let's go back and take a look at our account records. Here's an account record. And now you can see that the country name is in properly displayed on that particular record. So this was just a quick example of how easy it is to export the data into Excel from CRM 2011, make some changes on that, and then import it back into CRM. This is going to be a handy tool. People are going to find it a lot of ways to use it. So try it out.